Hi, my name is Darshini Ravindran, number matching A19A1025. I would like to present about the introduction of our Flow Power Bakery. Our shop placed at Pengkalan Cepak, Kota Baru, Kelantan and opens every day except on Sundays from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. The objective of opening this shop is to give a happy mood to our customer and relieve stress by eating sweet foods. This is because as we know, food can change our mood and can also relieve stress. Besides that, we also open the business at Pengkalan Cepa because of it can help us to gain a lot of profit since it is a peak area. A lot of office workers and students are passing by the road where our shop is. It is also a best location to open a shop because people frequently stop by to get the cakes, buns and cookies for their loved one. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ashley Valewell. Here I'm going to briefly explain about question 1. Firstly, company background of Flower Power Bakery. Fidaus and his co-workers discovered the Flower Power Bakery in 2020. Two years ago, Fidaus, who worked as a marketing department employee in a convenience store, discovered a lack of time to maintain their current demand. Fidaus later launched a plan to create a retail business, Flower Power Bakery, which provides customers such as groceries with the requirements. Together, working with his colleges, who each of them had some knowledge in detailing field. Until this day, Flower Power Bakery has selected as a consumer choice for offering essential items that save on consumer budget. Flower Power Bakery was located at Pengkala Chirpa, Kota Baru Kelantan. Fidaus is the owner of this company. This company was established on 31st December 2020. This was, this was a retail type of business where regular pay which is hourly rate times with regular hours. For example, Darshini earns 30 ringgit per hour and work 36 hours. So regular pay for Darshini is 468 ringgit. Second is overtime where overtime rate times with overtime hours work. Bella whose hourly rate is 10 ringgit to descend work 8 hours and she earns 10 and a half for overtime. Therefore, her overtime pay is 126 ringgit. Third is commission, where total sales times with rate of commission. For example, Diana commission rate was 10 percent. Her sales total 7,540 and her commission was 754. After all that, fees were earning. To give an example, number of unit produced by Ika is 575 unit. And rate for per unit is 1 ringgit. Thus, it's equal to 575 ringgit. Lastly, prospect, where regular pay and rate for per unit is 1 ringgit. Thus, it's equal to 575 ringgit. Lastly, prospect, where regular pay plus with overtime. Hi, my name is Darshini Ravindra, number matrix A19A1025. Now, I would like to present about question 2 about the estimation amount of our company needs to start up the business. Our own money for the company is RM500,000 for 5 years and the um, loan from relative are RM25,000 with 7% of interest for 18 months. The interest value is 12,625 and the future value is 27,625. The loan from Bank ABC is RM25,000 with 6.5% of compounded monthly for 7 years. The interest rate is 14,301 and the future value is 39,301.22. The total amount borrowed is RM. 550,000 and the interest amount is 16,926. Assalamualaikum, my name is Nabila Ashikin Zulkifli and my metric number is A19A1161. So, I will explain about question number 3, A, cost of machinery. So, our company has chose four types of machines and the first one is uh, gas baking oven. We choose gas baking oven instead of electric baking oven because uh, it is more suitable for bakery that do a lot of baking and um, it has lower running cost. So uh, the cost for one unit of this oven is 10,999 ringgit. And our company use 
uh, 3 units so it costs 32,997 ringgit and the second one is a uh, bakery mixer with netting so uh, this mixer has advanced uh, design for hooks so it will save more time um, to mix the dough so the cost for one unit of this mixer is uh, 2299 ringgit and for two units it costs uh, 4598 ringgit the next one is stainless steel proofer with humidifier so uh, as we know uh, proofer is used uh, to keep the dough uh, before baking uh, and more benefit uh, it has a uh, humidifier so um, it costs uh, 4452 ringgit and 47 cents and we only use uh, one unit of this proofer lastly we choose dough divider this dough divider uh, help to lower physical and labor of uh, processing and cutting uh, in a single dough so uh, the cost for one unit of this dough divider is 14,000 so our company uh, decide to use only uh, one unit of this thank you Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Siti Nahatika binti Syed Salim. Matric number is A19A0873. Next, I will present about the declining method which is content in depreciation topic. So here, we have three types of declining method which is annual depreciation, accumulated depreciation and also book value. First, I will explain about the annual depreciation. We have uh, 6 years. For the first year, we got 5,740. For the second year, we got 3,386.6. For the third year, we got 1,998.09. For the fourth year, we got 1,178.88. For the fifth year, we got 694.54. And for the 6th year, we got 4101037 Okay, next, I will present about the accumulated depreciation For the 1st year, we got 5740 For the 2nd year, we got 9126.6 For the 3rd year, we got 11124.70 For the 4th year, we got 12303.57 for the 5th year, we got 12,999.11 And for the 6th year, we got 13,409.47 Okay, last, I will present about the book value For the 1st year, we got 8,260 For the 2nd year, we got 4,873.4 For the 3rd year, we got 2,875.31 for the 4th year, we got 1,669.43 For the 5th year, we got 1,000.89 And for the 6th year, we got 590.53 Okay, I think that's all from me Hi, Assalamualaikum, my name is Nabila Ashiki Zulkifli And my metric number is A19A1161 So I will explain about question number 3C An invoice for machinery cost date on 1st of July 2020 from supplier B with term 3 per 10 and N per 30. If the invoice paid on 9th of July, our company need to pay 13,580 ringgit. This is because since the invoice was paid uh, on 9 days after the date of uh, invoice, but still within the discount period, our company entitled 3% of cash discount. So, to get cash discount, we need to calculate 3% multiple by uh, 14,000 which is uh, the invoice amount and we get uh, 420 ringgit. So, uh, the payment uh, will be uh, invoice amount minus uh, cash discount. Uh, so, we will get 13,580 ringgit. So, uh, if the uh, invoice paid on 22nd of July, our company need to pay uh, 14,000. This is because since uh, the invoice uh, was paid uh, on 22 days after the invoice uh, date, but still uh, between the 30 days. 
So our company need to pay uh, the net amount. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Nurdana Miti Mama Isa. My metric number is A19A0472. For this question 4, we use the formula from amortization from the subtopic in business mathematics textbook. So, for question 4A, it is 4.5% compounded monthly. It is to be amortized by 12 months from the table 1 in question 2. For 4A, we need to calculate the monthly payment. So, this is the formula. The formula is A equal to P and it is in bracket I divide by 1 minus 1 plus I and the power of N, of negative N. To find N, M is times by T. So, the M is 12 and the T is 7. So, in this formula and in this table, we can see that the answer that we get is RM 982 ringgit and 0 0.9 sen. Thus, monthly payment are RM 982 ringgit and 9 sen for the loan and is to be amortized by 4.5% compounded monthly by 12 months. Hello, my name is Muhammad Firdaus Helmi bin Shafi'i and my number metric is A19A0343. 4.B This is the amortization schedule. To make the calculation of the ending balance, we need to subtract the beginning balance minus the monthly payment. For example, in one month, 25,000 ringgit minus 982 ringgit and 9 sen equal 24,000 and 17 ringgit 91 sen. This is ending balance for that one month and for the total paid, we have to monthly payment multiply the period time. For example, in one month also, 982 ringgit 9 sen multiply one month. The equal is 982 ringgit 9 sen. Thus, to get the principal paid is we have to monthly payment minus uh, interest paid for example the 982 ringgit 9 sen minus 937 ringgit 5 sen equal to 44 ringgit and 59 sen and this is for one month and to get the total principal paid, we have to plus principal paid for the first month plus principal paid for the second month. And for example, uh, 44 ringgit and 59 sen plus 81 ringgit 42 sen. And the equal is 126 ringgit 1 sen. And this is the total principal paid for one month. The interest paid. How do we get the interest paid? Is we have to multiply, multiply the beginning balance, multiply the interest. For example, for the first month, twenty five thousand. Multiply zero point zero three seven five. And the equal is 937 ringgit and 50 sen. The last one, we have to get the total interest paid. How do we, we get to the total interest paid? We have to plus the interest paid for the first month plus interest paid for the second month. It's the same. We have to plus which the total principal paid. And for example, to get the two month is 937 ringgit 50 sen plus 
$0.67 cent and the equal is $1,838 ringgit and 17 cent. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Nurana Mati Omar Issa. My metric number is A19A0472. So, for the conclusion of this assignment, we can use all of the formula in, in business mathematics to solve all of the questions that ask in assignment. For this assignment, the Floor Power Company also use all of the formula in business mathematics to find all the salary for the workers to be paid in the end of the month. The Floor Power Company that was established in 2020 calculate all of the depreciation that this company had by using declining method. So, the total equipment that our company had is equal to RM56,047 ringgit and 47 C. Lastly, the floor power company also need to calculate the interest that the bank given to this company and this company need to pay to evade the interest getting higher and higher.